Hi everybody and welcome to our kitchen. I'm Lauren and this is Emily and we're two of Festival's registered dietitians. And we are so excited to share a really fun winter salsa recipe with you today. That's right. Today we're making pomegranate avocado salsa and it is one of my favorite recipes to make for different parties around the, the year. And today we're making this pomegranate avocado salsa, like I said, but it's using a lot of winter produce, like pomegranates and avocados, even though you can get them all year round, they're peak in the winter. Yes, I love all the different colors that we here, have mm -hmm. here, and I'm so excited to see how we can mix them all together to make a yeah. fun salsa. So should we get started? Yes, so okay. let's start with the avocado. So we have some of them diced up already, but we're gonna quick dice this up, and I'm just gonna score it quickly. This is a really easy way versus, you know, having to scoop it out and then come kind of dicing it up. It just doesn't get as diced as nicely as doing this way, which again, then you're just scooping it out. Yep. Really simple. And this is a very ripe avocado, which we got lucky. If you find one in the store that is not quite ripe yet and you really want to use it pretty soon, um, all you can do is just simply put it in a brown paper bag, mm -hmm. like a little lunch bag. And you can either put apples or bananas in there if you have some of those on hand. Just wrap it up, leave it on your counter, it'll ripen a lot quicker that way. That's a great tip. So now we're going to add a little bit of lime juice. And this is just to help prevent it from browning. So and mix this up. another thing too to prevent from browning, an acid helps. Something that um, mm -hmm. has some citrus as well will help to prevent the browning. But you can also leave the pit in or the seed in half That's of right. it. I know that I always end up with half an avocado that I can't use. Um, whether you're making guacamole or mm -hmm. something, you can leave that seed or the pit in, put it in the refrigerator, it'll prevent from browning. That's a great idea. As well as if you're making guacamole, you can just leave the pit right in there, have people eat around it, and it'll, you can leave it out for a longer amount of time, it won't get brown. Fantastic. It's really cool. Okay, so next we're gonna add some oranges, and we just section them off. But you can certainly also use clementines, or to add a little bit different color, I like to use blood oranges. Ooh, that would be really cool. And oranges are another one of those um, produce items that are available most of the year, mm -hmm. um, especially in the winter months. Okay, so then, like I said, this is a pomegranate avocado salsa, so we're gonna add some pomegranate seeds. Oh, those are beautiful. Add so much color. Now, you were saying that this fruit is generally only available between October and about January? January, yes. So you can certainly use it during the winter months, but in the summer, I have actually used strawberries, diced up strawberries instead That's of the pomegranates, idea. and it's just as delicious. Add in that nice pop of color as exactly. well. You could probably even use raspberries or blueberries, oh, yeah. yep. anything like that. Yep, just dice them up small enough to make it so that it would fit on a chip, and it's a great option. So then we're gonna add some red onion just for some more color, but you can certainly use a yellow onion or green onion as well, depending on what you have in your kitchen. And we're gonna add some cilantro for a little bit of fresh herb flavor. Mm, excellent. Let me get some a little bit more flavor with salt and sweetness. Add it with honey. And we're adding some of that sweetness because a lot of the other produce items in here are not the sweetest. I know right. with pomegranates, they're a little bit more tart. tart. Um, so this will add in a good amount of sweetness. And talking about the pomegranates too, um, a great way to get the seeds out, because that can kind of be intimidating for a lot of mm -hmm. people, is simply slice it in half like we have this one over here. You can put it in some water, open it up, and a lot of the seeds will come out and float to the top. And we also have, um, we did a prior segment on yes. that as well that you can find on our website. And pomegranates are also really packed full of nutrition. They have a lot of antioxidants. Yes. So this is great for the winter season, you know, when everyone's trying to fight colds. Yes, those all these things in here exactly. are perfect for that. Okay, so then one of the last ingredients we're gonna add is kind of an optional ingredient. We have diced jalapeno. We remove the seeds just to make it a little less spicy, but if you do like that spice, you can certainly leave them in give it that extra heat. Yes. Or if you're not a big fan of spicy foods, leave them out completely and that's totally fine. This will be a delicious salsa recipe regardless. I always find that so interesting that the spice really lies in the seeds, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah. Okay. Starting to look really, really nice. So just mix it up. And you can certainly, I wouldn't necessarily recommend making this entire salsa ahead of time, but you can chop up all the ingredients, leave them separate, with the exception of the avocados. You yes. wouldn't leave those until the last minute. But you can prep them ahead of time, just have them in separate containers and mix it right before you're gonna serve it. I love it. 
Looks beautiful. So I'm gonna garnish with a little yeah. bit of green onion, and we could have used green onion in place of the red onion mm -hmm. if we wanted, but I think this makes a great garnish too. A little Definitely. bit of extra flavor and a little bit of extra color. Yeah, and you can also certainly garnish it with extra cilantro or extra pomegranate seeds if you're looking for that red flavor or red color. Um, all great options. Beautiful. Let's, Let's, should we give it a try? Sure. I'm gonna grab your chip. Grab a little chip, yeah. Okay. And these are the blue chips. Yes, and this is my using. favorite chip to serve the salsa with, just to add a little bit more color. It is a whole grain, naturally gluten-free whole grain chip. And you can find those in our natural and organic section. Yes. So another great option, but I know you like a little different yes. chip. I love the um, multi-grain Tocito scoops. Just great for serving. I mean, this is really simple too to get it right on there, but if you want a bigger chunk and it's nice to have the little bowl in the chip. Mm -hmm. mm. Really sweet and a little bit creamy because of the avocado and mm -hmm. it's got that kind of sour tang from the citrus. It's just delicious. Perfect. Thanks for the recipe, Emily. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, if you're looking to entertain or just looking for a quick snack, try this recipe out. And remember, you can always eat well with Festival Foods. We'll see you next time.